four reminders. The first is life is precious. How happy we are, how satisfied we are, depends on how much we appreciate what we have. It's not about the problems that we have, uh, but how much we concentrate on the problems that makes us uh, unhappy, sad, and depressed. So therefore, one of the main reminders is that we need to appreciate what we have. And that is the first principle to transform our life. And if we really work on this, this alone can also uh, transform our way of feeling. The second reminder is impermanence. That everything changes. There's nothing uh, which doesn't change. Uh, good times can change, but bad times can also change. Uh, so therefore, even when I go through the most difficult times, I need to remind myself that there's nothing which doesn't change. Uh, everything changes. That's the nature of the, the life. That's the nature of the phenomena. The more we see this clearly, the more we know that nothing really exists in the same way all the time. So the more we understand it, the, we, the more we can let things be. Uh, and we also understand that uh, the life is change. Mm. If there is no change, there is no life. There is no development. There's no living. Uh, so therefore, we need to let things happen. Mm. There's no use holding on uh, too much uh, to either negative things, bad things, hurtful things happen to us, but also to uh, good things and positive things that might be uh, with us sometimes. If we really understand this deeply, the impermanence, that everything is changing, uh, and really integrate it with our life, this could also uh, transform our life. That's the second reminder. The third reminder is what we call samsara. The samsara means that all of us uh, human beings have weaknesses, have problems, and we need to understand that. Nobody is perfect. Uh, there is lots of pain, there is lots of suffering, there is lots of problems around us in the world. When we understand that deeply, uh, we don't need to expect everything to be perfect. The more we understand that, the more we appreciate uh, what people, little good things that the people do for us. If we find someone a little bit more uh, nicer, a little bit more kinder, we can appreciate it more because we know that people can be sometimes uh, mean, have problems, have not lots of negative feelings and things like that. So the more we understand the, these weaknesses, uh, the samsaric state of mind, that there is the problems and pain and 
uh, weaknesses in the people, the more I think we can understand how to appreciate the positive things. And also, if people do sometimes negative things, uh, we can still be uh, compassionate to them. We can still be uh, forgiving to them because, you know, with that kind of a, a samsaric way of being that we all have, with all the negative emotions, uh, with all weaknesses, with all the selfishness, we all have greed, we all have aggression, uh, we all have ignorance. So therefore, you know, uh, it makes us feel more compassionate to the people, even those who are doing not so positive things. And the more we understand samsara, the more I think we'll feel at ease in living with other people. Uh, because we don't expect too much from everybody and also we don't expect too much from ourselves. This is the third reminder. The fourth reminder is what we call karma, that everything has causes and conditions. The causes and conditions interdependently, everything happening, everything happens dependently, relatively, so that, you know, that I am responsible for myself. Uh, what I am now is because of my past. What I will be in the future is because of my present. So therefore, you know, my future is in a way in my hands. So therefore, I have to think, I have to be responsible, I have to uh, take the responsible of myself uh, and therefore I have to think and act in proper way. That how I do, how I act with my body, speech and mind uh, is very important for my own uh, future but also how I affect the world around me, how I affect people around me. Uh, so therefore, you know, I have to be very careful and uh, responsible about myself. Uh, so therefore, uh, if we are uh, reminded of these four things, and if we really integrate these four understandings and uh, kind of change our attitude on these four ways, uh, that alone can transform our life, we can become uh, a more uh, responsible person, a more uh, kind of more joyful person and more uh, understanding type of person. Mm. So therefore these four reminders uh, are said to be the first thing that we try to uh, reflect on uh, if you want to transform ourselves.